The ocean is one of the most vulnerable and least understood places within the vast universe due to the more than 80% remains unexplored in the largest body of water, but here the Mariana Trench is considered the deepest part of the ocean with about 36,000 feet estimated depth at its deepest. What you're thinking, but deeper. Yeah, it's one of the most diverse ecosystems in the world. From big and beautiful, to small and deadly, to some that can't be explained. 15 Scary Mariana Trench Creatures That you Never Seen Before <laughs> 60-Foot Shark this incredible footage, reportedly shot by Japanese marine biologists, show a massive shark, a 60-foot beast swimming a mile down in the deepest part of the world's oceans, the Mariana Trench. When the clip begins, the shark is seen approaching the bait cage before obscuring our view with its humongous body. Then, as the camera jolts upwards, the beast's terrifying white eyes can be seen. Now the footage has given rise to speculation that the long-extinct megalodon still rules deep beneath the waves. Not only is the Meg the biggest shark in the world, but it's also one of the largest fish to ever exist. Estimates suggest it grew to between 40 to 60 feet in length, three times longer than the largest recorded great white shark. It's estimated that its jaw would span up to 10 feet wide, easily big enough to swallow two adult people side by side. And for 13 million years, this enormous but very extinct shark dominated the ocean. It died out some 2.6 million years ago, but the monstrous creature is believed to be one of the largest and most powerful that ever lived. Could the Meg be lurking in the deepest place on Earth even today? Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. So you're one of the lucky few to ever make it into Mariana Trench with a team of researchers in a state-of-the-art deep water submersible vehicle. The descent takes over four hours. Once at the bottom, you get to potentially film some of the most extraordinary species on Earth and something with an eye this big swims past your observation window. What massive monster of the deepest ocean has come to say hello? Only seven people in the past have ever made it to the bottom of the Mariana Trench, one being Hollywood film director James Cameron in 2012. And they certainly did not report seeing something like this. With an eye this big, you can imagine what kind of monster is swimming past in the lowest part of the ocean. What lies in these treacherously deep, dark waters? Let us know. Use the comment below to fill in the blanks and use the hashtag sweet topic when you do. Green Eye Squid When researchers shined blue LED lights on this squid, it put on quite a light show. This squid has one normal-sized eye and one extraordinarily large green eye, which was brightly fluorescent, indicating the presence of a blue-absorbing fluorescent pigment. This unique adaptation most likely aids in capturing prey by breaking their camouflage. The green-eyed squid is a member of a group called the cockeyed squids, so named because one eye is larger than the other. Scientists think that the smaller eye has evolved to look down, watching for predators from the depths. The bigger eye looks up, trying to detect the shadows of potential prey against the very faint light above it. In the survival game of evolution, the squid's much larger eye has evolved a lens with a fluorescent pigment that absorbs blue light. Like others in its family, it has asymmetrical eyes that let it perceive light in both dim and bright surroundings. Another adaptation, it's semi-upright posture. This lets the squid simultaneously look up, down, and sideways as it jets through the ocean. Green-eyed squid can be found in the tropical and subtropical waters of the Atlantic Ocean at depths ranging from 3,300 feet to the surface where they come to feed at night. Predatory Tunicate This sea squirt is unique for its predatory feeding style. Whereas other tunicates nourish themselves by filter feeding, the predatory tunicate waits around until some delicious minuscule marine life swims by. That's when the horror begins. It's a great big mouth on a stalk, isn't it? It's a hungry sock puppet. Most tunicates have a relaxing life, sucking water in and filtering out plankton. Not this sea creature. It's more active and go-getting, even though it's got a stalk and is stuck to the sea floor. When little creatures wander in, the big mouth closes. Once they've sucked the food in, they reset the trap and wait for more. This strategy allows the predatory tunicate to eat small prey who might be swimming about just above the seafloor. 
A tiny crustacean might not seem like much to us, but compared to the microscopic organisms that are the food of their shallow water cousins, a meal that we can actually see is quite the feast. Here's a random fact. Despite its simple appearance, the hermaphroditic 5-inch wide predatory tunicate is your distant family member, as both humans and tunicates belong to the animal family Phylum chordata. <laughs> Acorn worm What's slimy and leaves sinus trails of sediment on the deep sea floor? These creatures are known as acorn worms. Check out this rare moment the EV Nautilus crew discovers an acorn worm on the seafloor. In 1873, an unknown species of deep sea worm was dredged up from the bottom of the ocean. Further analysis showed that the animal, collected from almost three and a half miles beneath the surface, turned out to be this. For nearly 140 years, that was the last that humans would see of this type of worm. Acorn worms are actually in their own scientific class and are very interesting animals to observe in the wild. The main reason that the animal hadn't been spotted in so long is that it's very fragile and tends to fall apart when dredged. Ideally, the animals are collected with submersibles where they can be delicately plucked from the ocean bottom. The deep sea acorn worms are quite different from their shallow water relatives, which are more muscular, sturdier, and easier to sample. The shallow water variety also tends to dig burrows and siphon particles from the seafloor. The rediscovered species, however, crawls along the ocean's bottom, eating particles of food as it moves. <laughs> Grand Rojo Jelly For some of us, it looks like a big red spaceship cruising the ocean depths, but it's actually a new species of jelly that was discovered by scientists. With a bell diameter of up to three feet wide, the new jelly, named Grand Joro, or Big Red, would seem tough to miss, except that it lives deep below the ocean surface, at depths of 2,000 to 4,800 feet. Scientists observed the jelly using video cameras on deep diving remotely operated vehicles. Although scientists saw this jelly during dives as early as 1993, it was not recognized as a new species until several years later. Its large size and deep red color are distinctive. But what really sets the Grand Joro jelly apart is that, unlike most jellies, it has no tentacles. Instead, it uses its four to seven fleshy arms to capture food. The Grand Joro is thought to be much like other jellyfish in that they don't have a heart, bones, eyes, or even a brain. In addition, it's likely made up of about 95% water. Yet, it's an avid hunter and is able to move easily from location to location. As for its habitat and distribution, the Grand Joro is found in many areas including those across the Pacific Ocean and the Sea of Cortez, Monterey Bay, Hawaii, as well as Japan, and of course, the Mariana Trench. <laughs> Mysterious Creature They call it Deepsteria Enigmata, a very rarely seen giant jellyfish. One of the ocean's more mysterious jellyfish has been difficult to study because of its natural habitat in the dark depths of the trench. But technology is opening up those depths to our curious eyes, which recently led to a 10-minute encounter with this peculiar, tentacle-less creature. Its bell is large, and it's been hypothesized that this jellyfish is an ambush predator that uses its entire bell membrane to catch upward-moving prey, closing around it like a blanket. The bell of this jellyfish is very thin and wide and resembles a translucent, undulating sheet of lava lamp as the animal moves. They also are solitary creatures and live all by themselves, contrary to the group living style of many jellyfish. Have you ever seen anything like this before? The large bell of the jellyfish has been proposed to be used for either locomotion or feeding when closed. The deep steria also has a geometric mesh pattern throughout its entire body. The mesh delivers nutrients to the entire jelly as it stretches and contracts to move and capture prey. Plus, the gastrovascular system of this mysterious creature can be clearly seen through its skin. Freaky and fascinating at the same time. Gigantic Squid Florida scientists have achieved the holy grail of natural history cinematography capturing a living giant squid on video, a 10-12 to 12 foot juvenile in the Gulf of Mexico. It's the first giant squid ever recorded in U.S. waters. Giant squids are elusive, mysterious creatures that have starred in more than a few pirate legends like the Kraken. 
but human knowledge of this squid is based on very few specimens that have been captured in deep sea fisheries and on beaks that have been found in the stomachs of this species most significant predator, the sperm whale. But did you know that these massive squids are reported to measure up to 45 feet in total length when fully grown? These amazing creatures were first identified in 1925. However, since then, few specimens have been recovered and there's still very little known about this species. The team used a stealth camera system called the Medusa in their deep sea exploring. Described as unobtrusive, the machine, which was on its fifth deployment into the deep sea, uses red lights that aren't visible to the creatures and isn't noisy. The machine baits creatures with an electronic jellyfish which imitates the deep sea. Pray these squids love. Living adults have only been filmed once before and never alive in US waters. So getting to see one so up close in its natural environment is extremely rare. Green Bomber Worm When danger approaches, it bombs away for this unusual worm. In the ocean, the midnight zone is a world of total darkness where predators lurk in the shadows ready to pounce on prey. One, named the Green Bomber Worm, lives as deep as two miles beneath the surface. The newly discovered species releases tiny balloon-like structures that glow in the dark to distract predators, scientists have found. It's a segmented worm that releases tiny fluid-filled sacs that glow in the dark. Crazy, right? The researchers observed worms swimming backwards too, after dropping the bomb, so to speak. Liberating part of one's body as an escape tactic is rare, but not unheard of. In this case, the balloon bombs seem to be made of modified gill parts and only glow once they are ejected from the worms, apparently to distract predators' attention. Researchers first discovered the green bomber worm in 2009 and while they're relatively recent discoveries, these bomber worms aren't rare, they just live at extreme depths below 8,900 feet. These remarkable but elusive worms still show us how much we have yet to learn about the ocean's midnight zone. <laughs> Mariana Snailfish They look like ghosts of the abyss. They're the deepest fish ever brought up from the deep sea, but they're extremely successful. Mariana Snailfish are under intense water pressure. Many snailfish, like the Mariana, inhabit very small regions of the sea. But the Mariana Snailfish is unlike all of those previously known, not just because of its especially deep home, but because of its unique physiology and structure. Deep Sea Chicken Monster Expanding camera technology has allowed us to capture even more cool stuff in the ocean. Now, new camera tech developed by Australian researchers is shedding light on the deeper parts of the ocean and exactly what lives down in the dark. Now, it might look like a headless hen, but we're guessing that it doesn't taste like chicken. This monster is a strange, pinkish-red creature with a body like a plump-breasted and decapitated chicken, earning the creature the name headless chicken monster online. In truth, it's the swimming sea cucumber and scientists recently captured video of this bizarre, hen-mimicking swimmer. But unlike most sea cucumbers, the headless chicken monster has fins which allow it to swim upward to escape predators. On average, they measure between 2 and 8 inches in length. Adults' colors can range from dark reddish-brown to crimson, though juveniles are typically a paler shade of pink. While most types of sea cucumbers spend the majority of their time on the seabed, swimming sea cucumbers like the headless chicken monster land only to feed. The researchers detected the swimming sea cucumber at a depth of about 9,800 feet below sea level in the Southern Ocean near Eastern Antarctica where it's never been seen before. <laughs> Alien Basket Stars they're found all over the world, but most of them live in the deep sea and reach two feet across when you include the arms. Basket star have five arms sprouting from their central disc, and each arm branches out over and over and over again until you end up with a kind of mesh, the basket. These are incredibly flexible tendrils. One interesting thing is that basket stars have a covering of leathery skin on their arms. And like other echinoderms, basket stars lack blood and achieve gas exchange via their water vascular system. Incredibly, these unusual creatures usually hide in crevices during the day and then climb to an elevated point to feed at night. They feed by perching in an elevated position and extending their arms in a net-like fashion perpendicular to the current. It's that easy. 
They catch small crustaceans, jellyfish, and other small animals that come within reach of their mass of twisting and turning arms. There's little chance of escape, too. Each branch has tiny, sharp hooks, allowing the creature to capture prey with ease. Hatchet fish. If you ever wanted to know what life in the deep sea is really like, take a moment to look into the tortured eyes of a marine hatchet fish. They can be found in all the major oceans in the warmth of tropical and subtropical waters, several thousand feet beneath the water surface. These ghostly creatures get their name from their hatchet shape when seen in profile. You probably won't have these scary fish in your aquarium or at home. Here in the trench, there's enough light for a good set of eyes to be useful, and hatchet fish, therefore, have a good set of eyes. They even point upwards so that they can look skyward and soak up as much light as possible. Prey, such as small crustaceans and fish, can be spotted by the shadow they cast. And these little beasts have another trick that make them all the more ghostly. Their underside is covered in bioluminescent photophores that can emit blue light of just the right intensity such that the fish disappears into the surrounding twilight. So along with their slender shape and reflective scales, marine hatchet fish have equipped themselves with a row of light-emitting organs to conceal their shadows. They can adjust the intensity of their underbelly lights to make them nearly invisible against the faint light above. Frilled Shark Due to the fact that the frilled shark is a descendant of a shark species traced back to around 99 million years ago, the frilled shark is often referred to as a living fossil. This shark belongs among the world's most primitive shark species. It sports a ruffled throat and lizard-like rounded head, characteristic features from our oceanic past that are seldom seen today. This creature's common name comes from its gills. Unlike all other sharks, which have separate gills, this shark's first pair of gills go all the way across its throat. Each pair is lined at the edges with red fringe. Because of the great depths at which this species lives and its widely dispersed distribution, few humans will ever set eyes upon a frilled shark, and any that are found are great interest to the scientific community. Shark skeletons are made of cartilage and therefore don't fossilize well, so most of what we know about their ancient kin comes from their mineralized teeth. The frilled shark's mouth is just as terrifying as the maw of a great white. It's lined with 25 rows of backward-facing, trident-shaped teeth, 300 in all. Its long jaws may allow the animal to gape extra wide and take in prey half as long as its body. Black Sea Devil What makes the Black Sea Devil a deep-sea mystery is that there's not a lot of known information about it. Black Sea Devils have a gaping mouth, needle-sharp teeth, a slightly startled expression, and a lure atop their head that lights up. It's unknown if there is a pattern for the illumination or if the light is continuously kept on. This lure is used to attract prey. If the anglerfish's toothy jaw and dead-eyed stare creep you out, take some comfort in the fact that they can be small, just three and a half inches long. Its dainty size, plus its preferences for the dark, deep sea, help explain why sightings are so rare. Unfortunately, fewer than half a dozen anglerfish have ever been captured on film. Ill-equipped might be an understatement. However, a female black sea devil can grow to about the size of a baseball. The males are even smaller and are actually more of a parasite than a fish. Males are ill-equipped for feeding and their sole responsibility appears to be to find a female and mate with her as soon as possible. Once he finds his female anglerfish mate, he bites into her belly and latches on until his body fuses with hers. And the Black Sea Devil's circle of life continues. Squid with shoulders Squids from the Magna Pena genus, known as big fins for their distinctive flappy fins, were spotted in deep sea surveys recently. This footage shows the big fin squid at a depth of one and a half miles. And as you can see, they're one of the deep sea's more ethereal, unusual creatures. Their fins are up to 90% of the length of the body, and they have next level long arms. The squid often will hold some of the arms at a 90 degree angle from the side of their body, which gives them the appearance of having shoulders. The distinctive elbow-like kink is another subject of curiosity. It could be a way to prevent their tentacles from getting entangled. Scientists believe that they feed by dragging their arms and tentacles along the seafloor, grabbing organisms off the floor. It's a simple trapping technique, waiting for prey to bump into their super long arms. The appendages come with microscopic suckers, 
And incredibly, a big fin surprised the researchers by raising one long arm above its body and holding it there, a baffling behavior never before seen in squids. The posture could have something to do with their filter feeding, they speculated, but the truth is nobody knows for sure. What else will the experts find in the deepest place on Earth? We're going to have to just wait and see. The search isn't quite over yet. Like and subscribe and tell your friends. There are more great videos on the way.